holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we are reborn children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with him and with his people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Parents and sponsors. In Christian love, you have presented this child for holy baptism. You should therefore faithfully bring him to the services of God's house. Teach him the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. As he grows in years, you should place in his hands the Holy Scriptures and provide for his instruction in the Christian faith. That living in the covenant of his baptism and in communion with the church, he may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give you thanks for the beginning of your spirit, moved over the waters, and you created heaven and earth. By the gift of water, you nourished and sustained us in all living things. By the waters of the flood, you condemned the wicked and saved those whom you had chosen, Noah and his family. You led Israel by a pillar of cloud and fire through the sea out of slavery and freedom of the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John, anointed with your beloved son, has set us free from the bondage to sin and death, and has opened the way to joy and freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdom and of the cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Pour out your spirit so that this one here who is baptized may be given new life. Wash away the sin of all those who are cleansed by this water and bring them forth as inheritors of your glorious kingdom. To you be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus. Reject sin and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce all the forces of evil, the devil, and all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Army Robert, you are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Lord 
be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God, the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your sons and daughters from the power of sin, for raising them up to a new life through his holy sacrament. Pour your spirit upon Army, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. Army, you have been sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. Please stand, turn and face the center aisle, and share the peace with the people on the other side. Honk twice if you're outside. Okay, let us continue with the prayers. St. John Lutheran. We ask that you continue to be with Army Robert and his parents, Hannah and David, and his two brothers, Thorsten and Elroy. We ask that you continue to bless this family as they grow in their faith, through their faith community and through family and friends. Lord, in your mercy. Holy Lord, we give thanks for those who are healing. We ask that you be with them in their continued recovery. We lift up to you Pat Horneman, Becky Deal, Pat Smith, and Roland Greiner. Continue to be with them, O oh Lord. In your Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. 
Heavenly Father, we give thanks. Thanks for you watching over your children. Uh, thanks for caring for us when we're rebellious. Thanks for loving us through your son, Jesus. Lord, accept our thanks and praise to you this day. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. Heavenly Father, continue to bless the ministry of the Southwestern Minnesota Synod. We lift them up to you as their synod starts next week. Um, and the bishop elections continue. We ask that the Holy Spirit pick out our leader for the next few years. We ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Heavenly God, we give thanks for St. John's Consfinger Parish. We ask that you continue to uh, have their ministries thrive as we get back up on our feet from COVID and we can continue reaching out to others in our community. We ask that the Holy Spirit lead and guide members into different areas of ministry which they have not experienced and open their hearts to reaching out. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for everything that is going on in our lives. We lift up to you those who are troubled, are ill, are dealing with mental illness. We ask that you be with them and guide them to the resources that they need. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend for all for whom that we pray, trusting in your mercy. Amen. Let us pray the offering prayer. Merciful Father, we are with joy and thanksgiving, which you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Signs of your gracious love, receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power. May God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever.
lift up to you all those in our armed services who have fought and given their life so that we may have freedom, just as your son fought and died for our sins. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.